You say, but Brian, how do I catch smallmouth in muddy water? They're such a visual hunter. Yes, they are, but they still gotta eat. Let's see if I can get this tube out there to him. Ooh, nope. Alright, game face is on. Shorten my leader because I tied on a known. This is an eighth ounce swim bait head with 90 degree line tie but it's a ball head jig so you can use it as a tube jig as well and they're about to be taking in water so it's not where i wanted to go with that last bait change i got time to make i put on a little uh mass pro shop and i believe an eight ounce head let's see Let's see, because the wind's going to let me know. I'm running way out of leader, but we're fishing shallow water anyway, so what the heck, right? Look at that! Perseverance playing off! Hey! Hey, buddy! First fish on this rod! So thank you, my friend! Thank you, my friend! Man, you are healthy, man! That's supposed to be a medium heavy! Yeah! That's supposed to be medium heavy, pretty girl. What a great fight. Thank you, my friend. I've been trying to catch you all day. That was one of the best fights from a, you know, one pounder ever. Yeah, you're a champion. All right, all right. Yeah. You guys, that's my third, fourth tube color. Fourth tube since we got here. Last one. Made it count even in the wind with an eight ounce, eighth of an ounce. And look, that dude almost bent me out, man. So it's like, wow, these fish are so healthy, you guys. It's unreal, man. All right, folks. So, how I go about catching smallmouth in muddy water on a spinning rod. I downsize everything and I catch them with a tube. That's how I catch them, man. Uh, throw dark colors in the morning like black with blue fleck or black with red fleck and throw white later in the afternoon up till evening. So a tube 
works in muddy water. Sorry for the wind no noise, folks, but that goes to show you that if you stay and make adjustments instead of just quitting after two bait changes that didn't work, then if you stay and try to experiment with different weights and different colors and different just you know presentations without overfilling the bag that's all i bring anymore is that the backpack is too much and um you know we ended up catching a good one that's probably that same fish that bent me out this morning so i'm glad i got to get my revenge <laughs> but uh anyways folks just don't give up after the first couple attempts at whatever technique you're throwing and uh we're just gonna make this a one and done um guys tubes they're inexpensive you can use ball head jig heads of your choice and really get on some fish and it's like a jig bite it'll make you a better jig fisherman so that being said y'all one and done number like 23 or something but perseverance paves the way to land in a fish so it's better than getting skunked and with that i bid you farewell this is brian from guy with the gopro fishing show from the mighty banks of the Kanawha river out for now just for now Fish every day like it's your last.